Praise God. Today is the last day, or not the last day, but the last Sunday of the year. And uh, shall we give glory what the Lord has done in us as a family, as a church? Hallelujah. Praise God. Can we give a clap of praise for the Lord? The greatest blessing that you receive in the year 2020 is the gift of life. Amen. A lot of things happening this year, but you are alive. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We cannot complain, but just thank the Lord for what He has done. My message this morning is crossing over year 2020. Crossing over year 2020. And we are welcoming another year, year 2021. Few days from now. Once again, I would like to greet everyone a happy, blessed Christmas. No, I haven't met you during Christmas time, but I would like to greet you a happy, blessed Christmas. You can greet uh, your brothers and sisters while in social distance uh, next to you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. To many people of the world, year 2020 is one of the most challenging years in history. Even more challenging said uh, during the World War I or World War II. <laughs> the WHO declared this year as a year of pandemic. In other world, world, it is a world health crisis. We are in the world health crisis. To many people, year 2020 is remembered as a year of lockdown, a year of isolation, a year of economic crisis, confusion, quarantine, isolation, fear of death, and even death to many people. Some said in year 2020, Humanity is walking in the body of the shadow of death. Do you agree? But before this year end, to medical science, there is light and hope with the discovery of the vaccine. But church, we will not focus on happenings. Amen? We will not focus on bad news, but we will focus on the good news of the gospel of Jesus. Amen? We will focus on God, rather, what is happening around us. Church, we will not focus on world crisis, but we will focus in Christ. Amen? We will focus in, in Christ. In Christ, there is hope. In Christ, there is peace. In Christ, there is joy. In Christ, there is protection even amid of this what is happening. In Christ, there is healing. In Christ, there is salvation and deliverance. Church, the greatest crisis in life is a Christless heart. Amen? It's a Christless heart, a crisis life. But if you have Christ in your life, you are an overcomer. Amen? Can you tell your brother and six sister next to you, you are an overcomer. Hallelujah. And we will overcome this year, next year, and even many years to come. Why? Because of the presence of Christ in your heart. Hallelujah. Can we give a clap of ring for Lord Jesus Christ? Church, we can cross over year 2020 to 2021 in victory. Amen? In victory. If we read in Mark 4, 35, 
Jesus said to his disciples, On the same day when evening had come, he said to them, Let us cross over to the other side. Remember, when the disciples are in the boat, Jesus said, We will cross over in the other side. But while they are traveling, journeying to the other side, they encountered storms, waves. In fact, the disciples are so scared. Jesus, wake up. We are dying. <laughs> Remember, the promise of the Lord to the, to the disciples, we will cross over. Jesus did not say, we will cross and die. <laughs> Jesus said, we will cross and our boat will sink. No. Jesus said, we will cross over. There is an assurance, there is an hope that safely they will arrive to other part of the Sea of Galilee. Church, we can cross over this year, 2020 to 2021. Amen? This is not my word, but the word of God. Amen? So let us cross over into other side. With Jesus is with us in our journey. For the next team. Church, you are not alone in this journey. Just like the disciples. While they are crossing to the other side of the Sea of Galilee. Jesus is with them. In our journey in 2021. Some said that it might be even worse than 2020. We don't know. But one thing I'm sure. In our journey for the next year. The same God who preserved us in 2020 is the same God who will preserve us, protect us, bless us in the year 2021. Amen? Hallelujah. Church, let us not focus on the storms, but let us focus in God's word and in God's promises. His promises, He will never leave us nor forsake us. Wow. Do you believe that God will never leave you nor forsake you? Amen. Hallelujah. Another promise to the Lord. You are more than conquerors. You can persevere. You can withstand in crisis with faith. Amen. We can endure. Hallelujah. This is the power of God through the Holy Spirit in the believer's life. This is the positive side to end in year 2020. God is with us. Amen? And He will continue to be with us in the next year to come. Church, I'll share to you four things to reflect in year 2020. Number one, you know, as we end this year, we need to uh, recollect, evaluate what happened in your life in year 2020. Just like the business people, when they end the year, they will evaluate their business. How's my business this year? I am gaining, I am losing. So there is sort of evaluation. Now we will have this self reflection and evaluation number one what are the blessings you received this year 2020 what are your blessings you received in year 2020 in philippians 4 19 and my god shall supply all your need according to his riches glory by christ jesus Church, the best thing to end year 2020 is to count your blessing. Amen? Count your blessing. Just as a song said, count your many blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessing, what the Lord has done. Count your blessing. Name them one by one. 
Count your blessing, name them one by one. Amen? Hallelujah. I do believe that you are blessed in year 2020. Amen? When Satan try to steal your joy, Satan try to discourage you, I will tell you, count your blessing. Start counting, naming. Me and my wife, uh, during the end of the year, we have a long list of prayer items for the next year. <laughs> and not only my wife and myself write all our prayers, but my wife print it and put it in the in the near, in the cupboard. Sometimes in the kitchen. And at the end of the end of the year, we will evaluate, Lord, what are the blessings that we received this year? Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this, Lord. Wow. When we start writing and counting, Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You are blessed. Amen. You are blessed. Count your blessing. Count the things you receive. Don't count the things you don't have. <laughs> it will discourage you. Yeah? It will steal your joy. But if you count your blessing and thank the Lord what He has done and thank the Lord for what He will do and what He will give for next year, you will face a life full of strength, full of hope for the next year. Amen? Shall we give clap praying for the Lord? Hallelujah. Praise God. I remember uh, in the previous years, when during Boxing Day, uh, when I'm still single, I I normally go to Oxford Circus. Not for shopping, but just to observe. Yeah? <laughs> I have no uh, money to shop before. No, when I'm student, no, all go to the tuition fee. Praise God. So, Early in the morning, I, I went to Oxford Circus, but wow, it's amazed me. Shops are closed, but the number of people outside are queuing, long lines of queue. I said, what happened to these people? <laughs> and the moment uh, the shop opened and people are running, excited to buy, to spend money, I said, oh, wow, it's amazing. People here in Yuki has not of money to spend. <laughs> <laughs> but this boxing day in London I observed it's quiet all shops are closed and I said Lord it's a blessing as well because we can see <laughs> instead of shopping uh, why not we can make that money to bless other people who are in need Amen? we remember our brothers and sisters in the Philippines who are in need even here in the UK um, I think God do it for a purpose Amen? Praise God. Count your blessings, not your problems. Amen? Human problems are part of human life. If you focus on problems, again, it will steal your joy. It will discourage you. Why not focus on the things that God promised to you? Why not focus on the things that you receive? Most often, we remember and mention bad things in life and forget the good things. You know, if I'll give you an A4, blank A4, there are small dots there. You can see the small dots. Those are the problems and trials of man. But the whole A4 is white, except those few dots. Amen? So if we have problems, crisis in life, those are just few dots. But the whole A4 is white. The whole life, there is hope. Amen? In Jesus, there is blessing. There is always good things to come. Think positive. Trust the Lord. Trials are just temporary, but the blessing of God 
is eternal. Hallelujah. Focus on what the Lord has done in your life. What He can do to you and what He can do to your family. Church, as I said earlier, the greatest gift in 2020 is the gift of life. Your husband is alive. Your wife is alive. Your children are alive. How about those people who lost their loved ones? We will pray for them. We will pray for them. But right now, thank the Lord because you are alive. What will happen if you count the things you don't have? As I said, it will make you envious. It will make you worry and complain about life. I told you a story about man who complained because he has no good see shoes, expensive shoes. He's complaining, I don't have shoes. Lord, this is the worst Christmas I have. <laughs> Why? 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 Because I don't have a new shoes. He's complaining of many things, including shoes. But this man, when he went outside, when he saw a man without leg, then he stopped complaining. Amen? He stopped complaining. Remember that life itself is a blessing. Good health is a blessing. Yes, sometimes we have cup and cold, but you are not in the hospital term term terminally ill. Good health is a blessing. Your husband is a blessing. Your family is a blessing. Your wife, your children is a blessing. Those are the blessings that money cannot buy. Amen? Those are the blessings that money cannot buy. So this year end, I encourage everyone to count your blessing and you will give glory to the Lord. Amen? You will give glory to the Lord, the source of all things, the protector, the source of blessing. Number two, what are your petitions for year 2021? Next week is uh, the fifth birthday of my little daughter, Little Grace. We thank you for the gift of life. Wow, I can't believe I have five years old now. No? <laughs> And many members and friends said, Pastor, where, where is the second one? I said, the social distancing. Uh, right now, no, we cannot. <laughs> Buy with government's uh, <laughs> guideline. Yeah, and God's timing. Uh, but I always ask my little girl, uh, what do you want for your birthday? God, I want uh, a kitchen set. Oh, wow. Are you gonna <laughs> are you gonna be a chef or cook? <laughs> you know, my daughter is open and bold. What do you want? How about you? Did you ask God what you want for year 2021? Let's be honest to ourselves. Did you ask God? Did you make a list, Lord? This is what I want. This is what I pray for next year, 2021. The word of the Lord said in Philippians 4, 6, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, let your request be known to God. A ah, secret pastor, God knows my need. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I don't need to pray. God knows my mind. Uh, God is, uh, is omnipresent. Yeah, God is all-knowing. He knows what I need. No, the Bible said you need to ask. <laughs> you need to, to ask. Make a prayer list. You know, when we go to shopping, to Tesco or Sins Fury, you have a list things to buy. Why not 
you start to make list your prayer list for 2021. Sometimes when I go to Tesco to buy something, if I don't have a list, I buy the things I don't need. Sometimes I forget. When I go home, my wife said, did you buy a gluten-free sandwich spread for Bethel? And I said, no, I forgot. Did you buy biscuits for Bethel? I forgot. <laughs> So avoid trouble to your wife, make a list. Yeah? And wife, give a list to your husband. Yeah? If you want to buy something, give a list, complete list. Because, you know, men uh, sometimes, yeah, we tend to forget. We only remember uh, uh, other things. So why not make a list of prayers, petitions for God for year 2021? And at the end of the year, December 2021, just go back to the list and take, take, Lord, thank you for this. Lord, thank you for this. And this one, Lord, why you did not give me this prayer? Maybe God has a plan of purpose. Do you know that all prayers are answered? Amen? The answers of God's prayer are yes. Automatically, God will give it. Yes, my son, you need it. I give it to you. The other one is no. But God's no, it doesn't mean that God will gonna close that door or the things that you ask. When God said no, there, there is better things that God will give you. Amen? When God said no, God will give you a better and greater things that you, what you, you never asked. Lord, I just asked a motorcycle, but you give me a car. Praise God. <laughs> you did not give me a motorcycle for long years. But God bless you with a car. Praise God. But don't overspeed. Yeah, you will be charged. So, make a list of prayer. As a church, what the Lord impressed in my heart for next year is only two key words. Discipleship and mission. Amen? What the Lord impressed in my heart is what? Discipleship and mission. That's why uh, church Join with me in prayer. I am casting the vision, what God put in my heart for next year. We will start our Bible school, training school, life in the spirit, uh, like, uh, like a Bible school. The Lord will confirm the day, but hopefully after anniversary, after April. So this will be going to uh, the, the school of ministry is only every Sunday after church service. Few hours of your time. This church will not grow without discipleship. I've seen mega churches without discipling, training their, their church members. That church will die. Do you believe? So God impressed in my heart by next year, we will start our discipleship training. And to enroll in a discipleship training is a commitment. If you decide, Lord, I want to be a part, I want to grow, it's a commitment. Not at the end you will give up or uh, stop. <laughs> so I am casting this vision to husband and wife, pray for this. I encourage you to enroll two hours or three hours after Sunday. I will tell you, you will grow. You will grow. And this church will be a mission church. This church will be a church who will evangelize and plant more churches. So the, the second vision that God impressed in my heart, number one is discipleship. Number two, mission. Amen? Number two, mission. God 
put me in Sussex, not only in Sussex. I know the Lord will use me as well to plant churches near Sussex. Amen? Maybe one in Borges Hill, one in Whitefields Field, one in near Brighton. I am praying for Southampton. Please pray for me. I cannot do it alone. Amen? I need to train people so that they can be sent out and open another churches. Church, God did not design you to just stay in this church forever and doing nothing, including myself. We will multiply. Amen? We will multiply. So, join me in prayer. By next year, we will start our discipleship training. At the same time, I commit myself to be used in mission. Maybe in weekdays during my day off, I go to Southampton or pray for your friends who needs Bible study. Yeah, I will go there, plant the Bible study, and some of you will help me to carry on that Bible study group. Are you with me, church? Okay. Amen? A church should be an active church, not a dying church. This is my prayer. To all churches in Borges Hill and in Sussex and in London, we should be an active church. Let not this pandemic stop us in doing the work of the Lord. Amen? Spiritual coldness and fruitfulness. This is not the design of God. This pandemic will help us strengthen our faith, exercise our faith, to believe more on God, not to withdraw, not to hide. Even myself as a minister, I am being tested. I, might, I will be honest with you. I am being tested. But Lord, I promise to, to serve you, to serve your people. Here I am. Here I am, no matter what. Amen? Here I am. Here I am. Nothing, no one can stop the church. And the government recognized that. Can we get clap of praying for the Lord? Hallelujah. Even amidst of lockdown, they spared the church. Church are open. Tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, tier 5. Church is open. Open. And I do believe going to church is legally approved. It's a vital, essential need. And the government recognized that. So we will continue to worship and fellowship here in the worship hall. Amen? And those who cannot come, praise God, the Lord expanded our ministry. We have this live streaming. Our brothers and sisters in the Philippines, thank you for joining us. Last year, I hope and pray that you will continue to join us next year and uh, the years to come. Hallelujah. Praise God. And we will continue to spread God's word here in Sussex and around the world. Hallelujah. So church, join me in prayer. I am casting the vision of the church for next year. Discipleship. And I thank the Lord that we are now training new, new uh, musicians. Yeah. We thank you also to Pastor Eugene for training new worship leaders. Yeah. Brother Mark is starting now to, to lead the worship. Can we give clap of praise for the Lord? Hallelujah. <laughs> so Brother Jerry, Pastor Eugene, and more young people will be trained. So not only in music, but also in doing Bible study, the work of the Lord. Could you imagine if all of us will function where God called us? One in music, one in, in evangelism, one in teaching, one in preaching, because we cannot be pastors, all of us. Yeah, otherwise no one will listen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the five-fold uh, ministry, we are called by God. No, no matter how simple your ministry is, you are part of a bigger ministry. Maybe just praying to other people, uh, calling, how, how are you, sister? Hi, hello. Are you okay? Uh, can, can I pray for you? Can I encourage you? 
every single or simple thing you can do for the Lord. You are part of the ministry. Amen? And that's my vision and commitment for next year. My prayer, Lord, less my time in the hospital. <laughs> Please, I want to spend more in, in serving you. Life is short. When I face God in heaven, in Jesus, God will account what we've done in our time. I don't want when I face God in heaven and say, uh, my son, well done, my good and faithful servant. Welcome to my kingdom. What you have done on earth in the 90 or 100 years, I, I, I bless you. Lord, uh, 30 years in hospital, working and 20 years sleeping, of course, it's good to work, but if you are called to do something, amen, you need to give time. Amen? You need to spend time. So church, all of us are not the pastors, but I pray that you will level up your commitment in ministry. You will level up in commitment to God. One example is our weekly Bible study. Last year, sometimes in our Bible study, praise God, sometimes there are two or three people who will attend our Bible study. And I give my time every Thursday, half past seven. Lord, I want to encourage your people, to bless your people. I prepare teachings, but sadly, only few people can attend. So, I encourage everyone. This is not the time that we will relax in our faith. Amen? This is the time that we will level up in our faith. Many people will grow cold. And this is my prayer, Lord. Ignite the passion of Sussex Outreach. Every member of Sussex Outreach, every family, every minister, ignite their passion. Lord, I hope and pray that our love to you will not grow cold and we will forget our first love. Amen? Hallelujah. I do believe that the Lord will revive our commitment for him for next year. Amen? Hallelujah. And the Lord will use this church to preach and share the gospel, to reach out more families here in Sussex and even other parts of the United Kingdom. The Lord impressed in my heart that in the next few years, we will plant more outreaches here in UK, just like our London main church in London. Two things. Can we give clap of praying for the Lord? <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. So that is what are your petitions for year 2021? Number three, how we face year 2021? Face this year as a new chapter of your life. life. If you start last year right, you must start this year right. Amen? How to start the year right? As a song says earlier, forgetting what lies behind. Amen? Forgetting what lies behind. In Philippians 3.13, Brethren, I do not regard myself as having laid hold of it yet, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind. Church, you cannot face year 2021 if you will not Forget or reject the the weights, the weights or the sins of the past, the failures of the past. Amen. What are your failures in 2021? Leave it there. If you are discouraged in 2021, leave it there, brother, sister. This is now the time that you will need the strength of the Lord to carry on. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
You cannot face the years to come victoriously if you still dwell in the past. I remember in the Greek uh, Olympic during the time, one runner during their training, they put some weight in their wrist, in their back. They run with all this weight in their, in their body. But during the competition, they will remove the weight and they can rush, run fast. If we face 2021 victoriously, let's remove the weight in our life. Amen? Discouragement, failures, even sins, leave it behind. It's time for a new beginning to move forward. Amen? Are you with me? Hallelujah. What are your worries, failures, sins in 2020? Leave it there. Brother, sister, it's time to move on. Amen? It's time to move on. Maybe you experience betrayal or rejection of love and trust. You cannot move on. You cannot raise the race of life victoriously unless you forgive. Forgiveness is the key to happiness. Unforgiveness will lead to bitterness and unhappy life. Amen? Try to forgive this year and face a new life in new year. Pastor, I cannot forgive. You don't know what he or she has done in my life. If you base your forgiveness what other people done to you, you cannot forgive. We forgive because Jesus forgiven you. Amen? Our forgiveness is centered in Christ. We are sinners, but yet God forgive us. That's why also we can forgive others. Hallelujah. Praise God. Christ on the cross with wide open arms, opened and conditional forgiveness. We must also forgive unconditionally as Christ forgive others. Amen? Hallelujah. Praise God. Number four, lastly, what can you give to Jesus in year 2021? The best Give to Jesus is to give your complete self, your love and devotion to the Lord next year. Amen? Give your complete self. How's our relationship to God in year 2020? How strong our relationship with God? How's our time in Bible study? How's time in coming to church? How's our time in meditating the word of God? Church, we need to renew and recommit ourselves to Jesus. Make Jesus as a center in your life and family. Read and study the Bible. Teach your children about God. Amen? Maybe this is one of the New Year, uh, the world said New Year resolution. Teach your children about the Word of God. You know, when the children go to the uni and after that they have their own life, it's hard to reach them out. Amen? Do you agree? The best time to teach our children is when they are still small. They are still at home. Once they go to the university, let's pray for our university uh, students who came from this church that they will continue in faith. But the best time to plant the seed of the word of God is when they are still young. Amen? That's why it's my prayer also that the youth ministry will carry on by next year. Maybe once a month or twice a month. It's been stopped for a while. Yeah, but yeah, let's pray and support uh, Brother David and Brother Percy. Someone can help uh, Brother Percy in setting this uh, media team so that Brother David once in a while can minister the youth. It burdened me that the youth 
fellowship had stopped for quite a while. So this one uh, priority and prayer for the church for next year. Amen? And praise God for the commitment of Sister Teresa in the children's ministry. The, our children continue to receive the word of God. And wow, we are planting a living seed to our children. Hallelujah. And let's continue to support the youth and even the children's ministry. Commit your child, yourself to church discipleship. Commit your time for the Lord. Even one or two hours in joining our worship service. Even 30 minutes in our Bible study. We need it. We need it to strengthen us. Putting God first. My prayer for next year. Lord, I don't have weekend work. <laughs> I don't care if it is well paid than the weekdays, but this is my prayer and part of my commitment. And God permit, I will use this time to visit you. If I if we are allowed, if not allowed, I can visit you to Zoom or through uh, Bible study in, in Facebook. This is my prayer. Please pray for me. Please for your pray for your pastor. Please pray for the leaders of this church. Please pray for one another. Hallelujah. God created you not just to work but to worship Him. God is happy that you share your time today. Can we give clap of praise for the Lord? <laughs> Hallelujah. You choose to end the year by coming here in the church. You choose to end the year by listening God's word through Zoom or through our Facebook Live. You made a right decision. Hallelujah. Praise God. Next year, whatever giftings and talents you have, give it to the Lord. Amen? Give it to the Lord. Use that talent for God's kingdom. If you are talent, you have, you have talent in cooking, driving, no, we are in one body, use this for the Lord. Hallelujah. So church, this year, prayerfully, in your quiet time, ask God, Lord, what can I do for you for year 2021? If you promise to God to do something in year 2020 and you fail to do that, just ask forgiveness. Hum humble before God. Lord, I'll renew my commitment. Lord, I will do this for you. In your quiet time. In your prayer time. Ask yourself, Lord, what can I give? What can I do for you in year 2021? Lord, I already counted the blessings that you gave to me. Thank you for the blessings, the good health, the life, the provision, the healing. Now, Lord, in 2021, what can I do for you? And I do believe that the Lord will guide you. Amen? Hallelujah. Lastly, my message for next year. My encouragement to all of us for next year. Fear not. Amen? Fear not. Trust the Lord. Amen? Trust the Lord. Level up your faith. Amen? Level up your faith. Expect new and greating, greater things from the Lord. Amen? Expect what? New and greater things from the Lord. With Jesus in us, we can cross over year 2021 and many years ahead in victory. Amen? Hallelujah. I would like also to thank everyone for your commitment in the ministry, the music team, every ministry, the children's ministry, and our brothers and sisters who are faithfully coming to the church amid of this, what is happening, 
you are standing in your faith. Amen? You are standing in your faith and the Lord will honor that. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we give clap of praying for the Lord? <laughs> Let us pray to close this uh, message and after this we will have kids presentation a surprise number uh, thank you Lord for your word thank you Lord we cannot even count or number the blessing that we receive thank you Lord for the gift of life thank you Lord for the church thank you Lord for your people thank you Lord for every ministries thank you Lord for every minister you've used Lord in this church I just pray Lord that they will continue to level up in their faith. They will continue, Lord, to, to serve you. Thank you, Lord, for your people. Thank you, Lord, for the good things. Lord, I pray that you will bless them. You will multiply their gift things. Thank you, Lord, that you will keep them from harm and danger. Thank you, Lord, that this church will never be the same again by next year. Thank you, Lord, that each and every one of us will never be the same again by next year. We will level up in our faith, in our commitment, in our trust in you. Thank you, Lord. Bless your people. Even, Lord, those who are joining us in our live streaming, in Facebook, Lord, faithfully, I pray, Lord, that the same blessing be upon them. The same God who will protect them. The same God who will heal them. Thank you, Lord, the same God who will save them. Thank you, Lord. Bless your people, those who are watching, joining us in our Facebook Live. We give you, Lord, all the glory and honor, what you have done in year 2020. Indeed, Lord, we are victorious in you. Indeed, Lord, we are more than conquerors in you. Indeed, Lord, we are an overcomer in you, Jesus. All of this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we will welcome our uh, kids' special presentation. Christmas for you. Jesus' birthday. <laughs> Celebrating Jesus' birthday. Celebrating how, Jesus. Um, how he came into the world. It's Jesus' big birthday. Oh, for Christmas? I think it's a time to celebrate Jesus' birthday and spend time with your family. Christmas for you, Jason, you know. <laughs> Celebrating? Um, Celebrating holiday with my family, Jesus, and Christmas. Hey, and do you love Jesus? And what is your gift for Jesus? You know, it's his birthday, so what is your gift for him on his birthday? We be a good boy and a big and a good girl. Oh, so your gift for Jesus is to be a good girl, isn't and it? Merry Christmas! 
Happy birthday, Jesus. Don't forget that Jesus loves you. Merry Christmas. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. Amen. Praise God. Can we give clap for praying for our kids? Hallelujah. Thank you, kids, and thank you, uh, kids ministry. We thank you for Sister Teresa uh, for hard work and all the children's uh, ministry team. Thank you. Uh, you've done a fantastic uh, ministry throughout the year. And this is just the beginning. Hallelujah. Praise God. We will continue to support our children and pray for them. Well done. Uh, hopefully by next year, not only the kids, but the dads and the moms as well. <laughs> Can have that dancing, dancing. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> so once again, thank you all for coming and joining uh, our Sunday service today. And I would like to thank you also our... Brothers and sisters, family and friends in, in Facebook, thank you and I invite you once again to, to join us next Sunday. Same time, 11 o'clock UK time, here live in Facebook. And also I would like to invite you in our Bible study every Thursday, half past seven in the evening, UK time. And also if you miss this live worship, I would like to invite you to tune in our YouTube channel, LSF Sussex TV, for a replay. Thank you very much. I hope and pray all of you are well. I pray for good health, long life, blessing, fruitful, and victorious years ahead. God bless you all and thank you. Amen.